Hi! I thought we'd start off with something fun. So, my name is Shmem, my friends call me Shmem, and you can call me Shmem. But, today's video is going to be about self-love. Because you need to love yourself before anyone else can love you. And you're like, what does that mean? <laughs> And I'm gonna be honest, it's a very crazy concept for me too. And yes, I'm in my pajama chic. <laughs> Who cares, <laughs> we're in quarantine. But like, what the heck does that mean? So it's not just, oh my gosh, I love my hair. It's so pretty. Oh, I love the way my makeup looks today. It's, you may love things about you that's amazing and that's what we want we want you to love your outside and inside but that's what you got to get to to love someone else because a relationship for the longest time it was it was a very hard concept and i'm still struggling with this concept of loving myself because i have i mean i'm a person i've gained weight and i'm not a fan of who i am but i have to embrace that's who i am now yes i can lose more weight and i would like to do that but to be healthy not just to be i'm skinny i mean and if you're skinny that's great and i mean that's the thing it's not it's not all it's whatever size you are whatever your hair is if you want if you feel like your hair should be blonde then dye your hair blonde if you love your hair now then love your hair now but it's you have to be happy with who you are because if you're not happy with yourself then you're not going to be happy with someone else in your life even friendships so you have to get yourself right and on the inside and outside if you don't feel like you're right on the outside then and build your confidence build who you are and then you can bring someone else to the equation it's not that you need somebody in your life to share it with it's that you want somebody in your life to share your life with so uh, I you don't you don't need a man you don't need a man in your life to make you happy you and want a man in your life to share happiness with to ha share happiness with children with and family if in experiences but if you have insecurities about yourself because I have insecurities about myself I have anxiety and that causes me to think things that are not true like, is he cheating on me and because I mean it's happened in the past and so that's the thing my insecurities cause that to happen and so that's something that I need to work on and sometimes it's even things that you can work on with your significant other if you're not in a place then maybe counseling is couples counseling is right for you or even just counseling in general because I've had things happen in my life that I mean, and as I'll do another video about this, but I was sexually assaulted at my first university that I went to. And for the longest time, I thought that that's all women were good for. It's all I thought I was good for was sex. I'm not saying I went out and did it with everybody, but just in my head, I was thinking I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough for anyone. I'm not good enough to be a significant, to be a girlfriend, to be a wife. I am just good as an object and I thought that for many many years and honestly I have thought that up until recently it's not until some recent events have happened in my life um, breakups and new babies coming and that I actually had to take a step back and say whoa 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 whoa, whoa. I am worth more I am worth so much more and I am a faithful person and I believe that I, I mean, you can believe whatever you want to like to believe, but I am believed that I am created, um, in God's image and I am worth so much more. I was not put on this earth to doubt myself, to bash myself every day saying, oh my gosh, I'm so fat. Oh my gosh. Why don't I look like her? I'm here to say, damn, you're gorgeous. And I am too. And 
no oh man i want her shoes so bad walk up hey where'd you get your shoes and oh man i want to be i wish i had a relationship like that because i do i've thought that and i mean not everyone in their life is gonna meet their sweetheart right out of high school or the first guy that they date it takes time because you can't be like my mom and dad high school sweethearts been together for over 30 years and it's 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 i have family members that have married later in life and they're so happy because they found the one they found that person and it's i'm not saying about finding the one but even finding who you are happy with because for the longest time i'll be honest i hated my hair color in middle school i wanted to be black i wanted my hair to be black and then i wanted it to be blonde and you have other people then it takes something to notice you have other people looking at me and saying oh my gosh i want your hair and i wanted to dye my hair so bad because i didn't think people liked me because of my hair because i was very different i was made fun of because of my hair so I wanted to be blonde so bad and it's just you have to take the time not everyone's gonna realize things right away and not everyone's going to be at the same level at the same age and that took me a very long time to realize because I definitely did not think that I would be where I am today um, I thought I was gonna take a different path in life and that didn't happen but that's okay just have to take it every single day and yes i'll be honest i've had counseling in my life because of my past and things that have happened to me and i it's taken years it has taken years for me to realize that i am enough for someone that i don't need to be with someone to be happy but i would like to be with someone to be happy and it's taken breakups and crying <laughs> and anxiety attacks to realize that and you can have your friends yelling in one ear and parents yelling in another ear and, but ultimately you have to sit down and just just think take time for yourself self-care don't always don't always rush it's not rushed so what if you don't find the one until you're 30 don't so what if you don't find the one until you're 40 and so what if you don't find the one and it's loving yourself and spreading that joy to others and it's something that's easy to say but it's something that you just have to take the time read a book take a time from away from other people and just look at the big picture live in the moment not want to live her life live your life and that's the thing it's hard to realize and i would love to do another video on this also but the first step is just looking at you and saying i'm enough i'm enough for someone else I am not the reason I mean there are reasons I'm not the reason why this happened or this yes we have our faults we do things but you have to realize that not everything is your fault <laughs> and not everyone is out there to hurt you and being vulnerable is hard it's very hard i know i know and especially when you have add and anxiety and things that i do but just you're enough you're amazing and you're beautiful and love you okay love you all bye